they need to know? No, it's not with me. It's worse than me. All right. Good afternoon. Um, Councilman Justin Brandon, Chair of the Council's Committee on Resiliency and Waterfronts. Today, we will vote on proposed intro 1620A. It's a very important piece of legislation that I introduced with my former colleague, Councilmember Consentinides, two years ago, 2019. This bill will ensure that all neighborhoods throughout the entire city, both shoreline and inland communities, are prepared and protected against the effects of climate change. Coastal and inland flooding, extreme rain, heat waves, and severe storms are becoming more intense and more frequent. This new climate reality and the climate crisis are very much here now. In August of 2020, extreme winds from tropical storm Isaias caused the second biggest power outage for customers in Con Edison's history behind Superstorm Sandy. This past summer's tropical storm Elsa, Henri, and Ida caused significant flooding from heavy rain. Tropical storm Henri set a record with almost two inches of rain falling in just one hour. This record was then broken two weeks later by tropical storm Ida, which dumped three and a quarter inches of rain in one hour. For the first time, a flash flood emergency for all five boroughs at the same time was put in place. Storms are not, only storms are not the only climate threat that faces the city. Heat waves kill more people than any other weather disaster. And because of the urban heat island effect, the city and its residents are extremely vulnerable to extreme heat. This past June, the temperature was above 90 degrees, 90 degrees on eight days. That is almost three times more than the average number of above 90 degree days for June. These recent storms and heat waves demonstrate that the city needs a much more comprehensive approach to address the climate hazards that the city faces. The city must also ensure that vulnerable neighborhoods are both prepared and protected so that they are able to withstand or avoid these climate hazards. The bill that we're voting on today addresses these issues. Proposed intro 1620A would require that no later than September 30th, 2020, and every 10 years thereafter, the Office of Long-Term Planning and Sustainability, or another office or agency uh, designated by the Office of Long-Term Planning and Sustainability, in consultation with other city agencies, will develop and post on its website a climate adaptation plan that considers and evaluates various climate hazards impacting the city and its shoreline. Such climate hazards would include extreme storms, sea level rise, tidal flooding, extreme heat, extreme precipitation, extreme wind, wildfire, and flood, flooding surge events associated with a storm. The climate adaptation plan would include recommendations for resiliency and adaptation to protect residents, property, and infrastructure in the city. The plan would identify areas that are highly vulnerable to climate hazards to help determine where resiliency and adaptation measures should first be implemented and would consider recommendations and reports by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change and the New York City Panel on Climate Change. The climate adaptation plan would also consider the potential impacts of adaptation measures on environmental justice areas. Before I call the bill for a vote, I wanna thank my committee staff who's worked very hard on this bill, especially over the past couple of weeks. Committee Counsel Jessica, Albin, Jessica Steinberg Albin, Senior Policy Analyst Patrick Mulvihill, Senior Finance Analyst Jonathan Seltzer, my Senior Advisor Jonathan uh, Yedden, my Chief of Staff Chris McCright, and my Legislative Director Michael Sheldon, and of course Chief of Staff to Corey Johnson, uh, Jason Goldman. I'd like to recognize that I am currently joined by Council Member Gennaro and Council Member Debbie Rose. I'll now ask the clerk to call the roll, and I'd like to obviously encourage my fellow members to vote in favor of this very, very important piece of legislation. Good afternoon, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, Committee on Resiliency and Waterfronts, proposed introduction 1620A, Chair Brannon. Aye. Rose. Chair, I very proudly vote aye for this very timely legislation. Gennaro. I vote aye with the chair's indulgence. I'd just like to thank him very much for his leadership and putting this forward and uh, bringing us to this, to this good day. And um, uh, with that, I vote aye. Well, I'm, also, I'm also a proud co-sponsor of this. So there you go. My vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Item has been adopted by the committee. 
Am I on the bill? Okay. You're on. I just wanted to make sure. Thank you. Okay. Meeting adjourned. Thank you.